Lance Archer in the all-whites getting ready for a round of 16 matchup in the CIF Southern Section playoffs. And rolling out the welcome mat for Saddleback Valley Christian of San Juan Capistrano. The visitors making the 70-mile trip up the 405 for this contest. Early action, second minute of the match. Archer on a corner kick, and Leaden Solomon smacks it towards the net. An SVC defender tries to clear, but instead it caroms backwards into the SVC cage. It's a gift goal for Archer. And I think we have to watch it again in glorious slow motion. Solomon's cross is hard and low, and before anyone can blink, it's in the back of the SVC net. Archer has a one-zip lead to the break. Same score, final seconds of the match. Archer's been hanging tough until now. The ball ends up with Shannon McCarthy, and the freshman seems to know that this is her team's final chance to save the season. McCarthy is magic with the ball at her feet, and she lets rip a moonshot that finds the back of the cage. Wow, what a shot. That's the last kick of the ball in regulation, and we've got bonus soccer, ladies and gentlemen. But before we kick off overtime, let's appreciate McCarthy's beautiful handiwork in slow motion. Shannon is money in crunch time with a perfectly placed shot just over the outstretched hand and into the net. It's tied 1-1 after 80 minutes of play. And it's tied after 100 as 20 minutes of overtime produces zero goals. So we've got penalty kicks to decide a winner. First up, Archer defender Yasmin Namazi. She steps up and buries the shot low to the corner and Archer is up one zip. And that's where the drama starts. Rachel Pike replaces Hillary O'Connor in goal for the shootout. Pike is a former goalie who plays forward for Archer. That explains the white jersey for the goalie. And Pike comes up huge. She guesses correctly and gets her block on. Pike has a cramp, but she's okay. And it's big for Archer as they lead one zip after one in this five inning shootout. And how do we know that Pike is okay? Well, Rachel is the second shooter. She steps up and hammers it one way as Sydney Martin goes the other. Archer has a two zip lead in the second. So after scoring one, Rachel goes to the goal line hoping to stop one, but this time she doesn't have to. The SVC shot is over the bar, and Archer's in extremely good shape. They're up two zip after two. And Leaden Solomon steps up to take kick number three for Archer. She scored on the corner kick way back in the second minute. Can she just about ice it for the ladies in white? Well, Leaden sticks it in the toughest place for a goalie, hard and low by the post. This goal makes it 3-0 Archer at this point. And here's the other goal scorer from regulation. Shannon McCarthy has to score to keep SBC's season alive. She did it at the end of regulation, and she steps into it and buries the lefty curler high into the cage and out of Pike's reach. It's 3-1 Archer after three. In the fourth frame, number four, Leandra Ramlo can end it for Archer. Leandra goes top shelf and just past Martin's outstretched mitt. And that's gonna do it. Archer moves on to the Southern Section quarterfinals for a date on this same field with St. Anthony's of Long Beach. Oh, wait a minute. Ramlow and Archer don't know it's done until the referee says it's over. And that's when the celebration is on. Everyone in a white shirt heads for the hero, Pike, and a dog pile quickly forms. It's elation and relief for Archer, which nearly handed it away, only to grab it back. What was your feeling when the ref said the game was over? I was so happy, it's not even funny. I was like, whoa, we just did it. We're in quarterfinals. And I ran to my team, and then I knew that they were going to do a dog pile, so I just kind of stopped and then laid down and then just waited for them to come. And it was one of the best feelings I've ever had in my entire life, just hearing everyone screaming, the fans, their team, everyone hugging. Oh, it was so great. In Santa Monica, I'm Jake Downey reporting for Cox High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Press.